this time lapse effect is actually really easy to do and you can do it in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. But you have to set up your camera with specific settings and shoot a specific way in order to do this effect in post-production. So come with me outside and I'll show you how to set everything up. Right now I have my Sony a7S III on a tripod. The white balance is set to daylight. It's just shooting 30 frames per second and it's also shooting in S-Log so I get the maximum amount of dynamic range. Also what I like to do is set my camera on manual focus. So I'm just going to manually focus for the background. That way I don't have to worry about the autofocus. So essentially we need to get two shots here. The first shot is me walking out and doing something to initiate the time lapse. Then I'm just going to walk out of frame and leave my camera rolling for about 10 to 20 minutes. So when you're done recording, you're going to have one long clip. So I'm just going to quickly do some color correction. I've already done the grade for it. So that's the color correction and the color grade. And depending on how quickly the clouds move should determine how long you video for. Up to 20 minutes or even up to 30 minutes is something that I would recommend. But if the clouds are moving super fast, you can get away with probably 10 minutes. All right, let's hop back to the edit tab. So come to the beginning of the clip, see where you jump or wave your arm or do whatever time-lapse movement you need to do. And then I actually do like this wave at the end to kind of stop the time-lapse. So I'm going to cut the clip right there. Now I'm going to move my playhead forward a little bit until I move out of the frame. And I'm going to trim the clip up so it starts at that point. Drag that clip on top of our first clip. Come over here to the right-hand side and turn down the opacity so we can see through the clip. Let's go ahead and play our clip and see where we want the time lapse to start. So I want it to start right about there. I'm going to right click on our top clip, select Retime Controls, click on this little down arrow next to the 100% and add a speed point. Now you want to go to the end of the clip. And since I wave my arm and there's a few seconds that goes by, I'm just going to leave a few seconds here at the end, zoom out so I can see the drop down arrow, click on it, add another speed point. Now you have to drag this point to where we want the end of the time lapse to happen. Since this is a very long clip, this is going to take a few moments, so just bear with me. So now once you've speed ramped the time lapse to the original clip, we have to match up when the time lapse stops. So right when I wave my arm and my finger hits the sky, I want that to stop right there. So you can play it through and make sure it looks like it stops. Perfect. Let's go ahead and trim this clip so it matches up with the one below it. With this top clip selected, turn the opacity back up to 100%, highlight both of the clips, right click and select new fusion clip. Go into fusion. Select the merge node and hold down alt and press T to swap the inputs. Now the clip of you is going to be on the foreground and the time lapse will be in the background. So with the media in one selected, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in luma keyer. Add the luma keyer. Drag the luma keyer up into the viewer window, select invert. Then depending on your clip, you're going to have to adjust the low and high luminance values. And you want to completely get rid of the sky. Then with the luma keyer selected, go ahead and select the polygon node. Select right underneath your horizon line. We want to mask out just the sky so the luma keyer is only affecting the sky. I'm just going to make a few minor adjustments here to make the luma keyer really pull the sky out so we don't have any sky. Now drag the media out into the viewer window. Now in order for the ground here to look like it's also being reflected with the light above it to really sell this effect is select the media in two, copy it, paste it, copy and paste this merge node and connect it in between itself and the media out. Then select this media in two node, connect it to the merge node, select the merge node, Come over here to the right hand side and let's go ahead and flip it. With the media in two nodes selected, select the rectangle tool. Let's go ahead and open this up. Then what you want to do is kind of pull it up to right about where you're standing. Turn up the soft edge. Pull it up a little bit more. Then select the media in two node. Hold down shift and press spacebar and type in blur. Add a blur. Turn it up all the way and then select merge and come over here to the apply mode and select overlay. This is a really subtle thing, but it does add a little bit of light if you look underneath where my feet are. The lighting on the ground where you're standing will change according to the sky. That is how you do this insanely sick time-lapse effect. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one.